So the work continues on the Hotel Grimm, but but some new work starting. You know, we know about the Hotel Grimm project. We know about the work they're doing around the uh, post office downtown. We know about David Peavy and, and looking this way. Of course, him uh, taking on the project of the Texarkana National Bank building down there on the corner. Something that kind of caught me off guard today was to see work on the old Sears and Roebuck building. This, uh, this is on the corner of 3rd and Pine Street. Or, um, I'm sorry, it's Scott Joplin Way now. Yeah, did I? There you go. I knew there was a sign. But, um, so I, we're not sure. I talked to some of the guys that are inside and um, not exactly sure what the plans are for it. But I was real curious to see the inside. Reason being, it's been empty for so long and you see the shape that the Grimm was in. So I thought this was just going to be terrible in here, but I'm, I'm surprised. Now, for those of <laughs> too young, look at this. For those too young to know, uh, I'm not going to go down there, but a little basement area down there. But Sears and Roebuck, for a long time, there's the old elevators right there. But Sears and Roebuck was a catalog business, right? So... All of these outlying communities, I mean, Texarkana was the metropolis, okay? So all these outlying areas, if they needed something, anything, they got it on uh, through the catalog. Old, old bathroom, what about urinal there? What's back here? Again, I'm not going down to the basement. We're just taking a quick tour through. A lot of folks may never have been inside this building. Uh, old buildings, try to, if you're making your way, try to stick to the edge of the stairwells anytime you're uh, not that I advocate such things but uh, looking down on the lobby second floor mezzanine level just take a look around we'll head on up four floors so I'm, I'm curious, I'm thinking the higher up we get, we might see some, you know, age damage from the years of, of standing empty here, all these old doorways. So this would be our third floor. Big, huge area. So I mean, really anything could be done with this place, right? Oh, great. Don't forget your downtown wildlife. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, it's your place. But there is a place where the roof had given. I don't know what we're gonna be able to see up there, but we will, uh, we'll go look. So again, elevators over there. On up to the next floor. So here we are at the top. You know what? Um, <laughs> really good shape for, I mean, when you consider, of course, look how old them electronics are. They're gonna have a lot of work cut out for them to get this done, but it's beautiful to see that somebody has started on it. Um, that's all it took, it was like a domino effect. Somebody put out that money and start working on it, and the others follow suit. Now we can see daylight there. So, that's as high as we're going. Pigeon, sorry guys, it's your place. So yeah, you know, clear out the wildlife. And, uh, but my gosh, it's, it's in really good shape, considering. So yeah, that's the roof though. So you can see, you know, water and damage has been coming in. I just really expected it to be a whole lot worse. So, um, and just my opinion, I'm no expert, but in a lot better shape than what they started with on the Grim Project. All them pigeons cooing back there. So uh, yeah, Sears and Roebuck building. 
My uh, my first shotgun was a Harrington and Richards from Sears and Roebuck, 20 gauge, single shot. I always remember that. But yeah, so uh, another project in downtown Texarkana. Worth getting excited over. But uh, very cool. Yeah, let's go in there. We'll get out of here and let these guys crank up all their machinery because they're, they're ready to get to work. I'm excited to see what it's going to be. But there you go. Sears and Roebuck building, downtown Texarkana, is now under renovations as well. <laughs>